Mayor Adams is ordering a new round of budget cuts at nearly every city agency. Fox 5's Briella Tomasetti, she is live at City Hall with the details. Good morning, Briella. Yeah, Dana Tashani, this is the third time Mayor Adams has directed city agencies to slash their budgets, and almost every single agency will be affected by this, including the NYPD city council members. They are not happy. Some of them even went as far as to question the mayor's estimates of certain costs. There may be bad news for the Big Apple's budget. Most city agencies have just nine days to slash their spending for the upcoming fiscal year by another 4%. The news was delivered in a letter sent out by budget director Jacques Jiha. It reads in part, Savings initiatives must be submitted to the Office of Management and Budget by April 14th. They cannot include layoffs and should avoid meaningfully impacting services where possible. The only agencies spared from the 4% budget cuts are the Department of Education and City University of New York. But they'll still need to meet smaller savings targets of 3%. This is the third round of reductions Mayor Adams has ordered his commissioners to carry out. Jiha attributed the need for additional cuts to the migrant crisis, which, according to his letter, is estimated to cost the city $4.3 billion through July of 2024. Labor costs, which have a hefty price tag of more than $16 billion through mid-2027, and proposed state budget cuts, amounting to more than $1 billion per year. In regard to the migrant crisis, Jiha wrote, We have now welcomed more than 54,000 asylum seekers and are caring for over 32,000. 2,500. To put this into perspective, when this administration came into office last January, the shelter population was just over 45,000. Today, the number of people in our care between the Department of Social Services shelters and the humanitarian relief centers is nearly 82,000. This is an 82 percent increase in a little over a year. Earlier this week, the city council unveiled its response to the mayor's preliminary $102.7 billion budget proposal for the coming fiscal year. Members identified an additional $2.7 billion in funding they claim the mayor failed to account for and also called for $1.3 billion in new investments. In a joint statement, Speaker Adrian Adams and Finance Chairman Justin Brannan said, cutting city agencies' budgets without regard for the impact it has on New Yorkers, the delivery of a essential services and our city's economy is not the depiction of fiscal responsibility. They went on to challenge the mayor even further by writing, the administration continues to rhetorically convey ever-changing costs for supporting asylum seekers despite never providing the council with any substantive response to our repeated requests for evidence of these costs. And homeless outreach advocates say the Department of Social Services will especially feel the implications of this because it's already experiencing staffing shortages, slowing down benefits to New Yorkers desperately in need. For now, we're live outside City Hall. Dana Tashani, back to you. Briella, thank you very much. We'll see what happens.